Today, 7.6 billion people live on our planet Earth, and that number continues to increase at a staggering rate. If this growth persists, by 2050 the population will exceed 10 billion people. To ensure that we can continue to sustain that ever-expanding population, we need to start planning now how to vastly increase our food supply. Of the total 13 billion hectares of land on our planet, 38% is agricultural land, 32% is forested, and 21% is completely unsuitable for food production. Increasing the amount of arable land would be extremely expensive and not beneficial to the health of the planet. Creating enough food to meet future demands requires more efficient and effective agriculture in terms of production. In other words, we need to produce more biomass from the available agricultural land through better exploitation of resources. That's why Future Agriculture was born. The whole food chain is based on a fundamental biochemical process called carbon fixation, which transforms the inorganic carbon found in CO2 into sugars. Most carbon fixation happens during photosynthesis through a complex network of chemical reactions called the Calvin cycle. But the apparent elegance of photosynthesis doesn't mean that it's operating at maximum efficiency. The Calvin cycle's action is counteracted by photorespiration, which dissipates energy, lowering agricultural productivity and resulting in the release of CO2. Previous projects aimed mostly at low-hanging foods, namely simple modification of metabolisms. We, on the other hand, are trying to revolutionize the way that plants do carbon fixation by getting beyond state of the art, by introducing novel enzyme chemistries that do not exist in nature and could support much more efficient carbon fixation. The synthetic pathway we designed in silico and tested in vitro and in vivo will be then transferred into model plant Arabidopsis and Brachypodium, and will be tested for their effect of the photosynthetic rate, carbon fixation rate, and growth yield. Those pathways that show a significant contribution for growth in the model organism will be then implemented in crop plants, such as rice, wheat, barley, soybean, improving, enhancing carbon fixation rate by up to 60% therefore boosting agricultural productivity and enabling us to feed the ever-growing population.